to make sure that Celebration of Nations wouldn't be only this festival that lasts uh, a couple of days, but actually that can be this important national event that people will want to go to and that will be part of the great offering of Niagara region. So, on behalf of the Government of Canada, it is my pleasure to announce that we will be supporting $175,000 more to the Celebration of Nation project. We want to enhance a fantastic Indigenous Cultures Festival, which is called Celebration of Nations. And the Government of Canada has just invested $175,000 to make it happen. The Government of Canada is investing in the tourism sector to grow the economy, empower our communities and promote Canada as a world-class destination. We started this new fund, uh, which is the National Tourism Strategy Fund. And the idea is to make sure that we can support more people working in the tourism sector uh, through five priorities. The importance of winter and off-season experience, culinary experiences, uh, also rural and remote communities tourism, LGBTQ tourism, and finally, indigenous tourism. The funding will support two annual Celebration of Nations Indigenous Art Gatherings. This particular federal grant enables us to have some stability for closing out our programming this year, but then also launching a fantastic, uh, amazing uh, gathering uh, for next year. Every year it's unique all the time. This year we're focusing on pathic traditions, uh, honoring Mother Earth, which is looking at those philosophies and teachings indigenous peoples have in terms of how they're taught about the relationship to the rest of the living world, but also all of the elements that, that make life possible uh, here on Earth. So as a result of these themes, then the, the shape of the event uh, takes different forms. So this year we have a lot of organizations coming in that are talking about uh, climate change, species at risk, uh, uh, protected uh, lands, waters, all of these types of things. And the presentations, though, will be visually dynamic and dramatic and beautiful and all of that. So people have a chance to learn a lot about indigenous culture, but then also uh, enjoy themselves, you know, partake in all of the offerings that the festival uh, has, um, has as part of its program. I think people in the uh, tourism sector were tired of being snobbed by uh, the federal government. Uh, 1.2 million people work in the tourism sector. It is a very important economic driver, specifically here in the uh, Niagara region. Uh, and therefore, this is the first time we're investing so much in the tourism sector. And that's what we want to continue. We want to support hardworking Canadians that make off a living uh, out of the tourism sector, but also we want to help them grow their businesses. This year's Celebration of Nations will take place September 6th till the 8th. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.